best in the classroom. But I was raised by a father who said the longer you're in school, the dumber you get, if you do not know how to apply that knowledge. And so, TORCH stands for passion. Hello, my name is Dr. Pamela Jolly. My book is called The Narrow Road, A Guide to Legacy Wealth. It's based on years and years of research, which I call the Jolly Journey, where I talk to people all across the country about their relationship, sorry, relationship with money and how they define wealth. And what I've found is there's patterns across generations and there's also pathways. And so I built a typing tool, which I call the Narrow Road Identity, which is a wealth identity tool. But then I also built specific pathways so that you can narrow the road to wealth your way. in the book is that one of the key takeaways from the research is that it takes three generations to build legacy wealth and only one generation to lose it but when four generations come together the wealth wheel begins to turn and that's where we are right now we have four living generations and a huge opportunity to pass the torch across the generations what I've found is that without an explicit definition of wealth you might just think it's something distant and far away from you yet everyone has five capitals and those five capitals are human capital, social capital, intellectual capital, cultural capital, and spiritual capital. And when you learn how to allocate those capitals, you can build wealth your way. While wealth is a group process, it's an individual journey that's experienced as a collective. And so your wealth is yours. How you define it, how you pursue it, what matters most to you. So it's important that you own it. You own that definition of wealth so that it becomes so personal that you will continue to finish your unfinished business throughout your lifetime. So as Americans, we all have inherited its business model and the origin of the American business model started with slavery. And then it started to evolve into different degrees of freedom. And so African-American history is American business history. It's something we all share. It's something we all can learn from. There's no one model minority. Everyone is on this journey and suffers the same oppression and financial oppression, which is not understanding our choices, but we also suffer from the same systemic issues that our ancestors have. And so a united front to be able to make this world better than we found it is the way in which I view we should go forward. I'm not a fighter, I'm a winner, and I truly believe that each generation inherits a win. And when we all pursue our win at the same time, we can't help but make this world a better place.